Right, it is windy as hell out there today, and I'm about to fly the Mini 3 Pro. And the reason I'm flying the Mini 3 Pro is because DJI have just released a new firmware for it, which is version 1.00.0400 for the Mini 3 Pro, and a new firmware for the DJI RC, which is version 01.02.000. You might want, also want to install the new DJI Fly firmware update, which is version 1.7.8, which allow you to um, use a new type of quick transfer between the transmitter and your Fly app. So the new features with this firmware are the ability to take master shots in portrait mode, the ability to assign shutter priority and ISO priority to photos and, um, and videos, and also and this is probably the most exciting thing for many, the ability to change your uh, sharpness and noise reduction levels. So that's very, very welcome. Reason for that being that it's something that we lost when we went from the DJI Go to DJI Fly apps, um, something that was dearly missed by many, and it's nice to have that back. And I'm hoping that the Mavic 3 is gonna have that feature added to it very soon too. So without further ado, I'm gonna take this poor little underweight drone outside now. I see how it copes. It's very windy out there, so we'll see how it goes. But um, wish me luck. Here we go. Oh, oh God, it's windy. I don't like it. Motors on. Oh, God, you get these messages when you update the firmware, so don't show again. It's all good. Right, here we go. All right, come on. Oh, God. All right. Yeah, she can handle wind. You know what people say about, oh, what's this? Yep, that's fine. When people talk about um, the Mini 3 kind of can't handle any winds, I mean, just make sure you have a location where you can retrieve it if it does drift off. Obviously, don't fly downwind into the sea. You'll be fine. Right, so here we go. Okay, so switching to portrait mode and if I go to master shots we should now be able to take a yep we get it take a video of this windmill by doing this so estimated flight time two minutes that's fine so let's have a go at this then um, well actually let's up this to 4k because we can um, there's some power lines down the back there, so I'm just going to go up a little bit more just to make sure I clear those. Something to be aware of, especially with this drone, which doesn't have sideways obstacle, um, obstacle avoidance. Um, so I'm going to press start. And here we go. I mean, again, it is really windy out there and it's coping fine. So, like I said, don't be afraid to be a little bit adventurous with it. Just be sure that you control your environment, that you're not um, flying somewhere where if you did lose it downwind, you get into trouble, you get into a location that you can't get to, or even worse, somewhere that it might end up in water. But in a controlled environment, you shouldn't be scared to push it a little bit and try see how hard cops with the wind. One little trick that you can use is if you click on the map, you can actually see the path that's going to do. So that'll give you an idea of where it's going to fly, if it's going to be at risk of crashing into something. So quite useful to do. Oh, it's proper freaking out there. So that's, that's basically just because it's um, being fr thrown around and it's just knocking the end stops of the gimbal. So don't be alerted when it does that sort of thing. Um, it's not the end of the world. Um, it's just the mechanics of the way the gimbal is built.
Okay, so that master shots is done. Okay, so let's see what that gave us. So if you go into uh, like photo or video mode, then click on your camera settings. And if you scroll down, you can now see this new section called style. So click on that and you get little dials or little sliders um, for sharpness and noise reduction. You can use those to up your sharpness by one point. No, two points. Fantastic, look at that. So you can up your sharpness by two points and you can reduce it by two points. And noise reduction you can up by one point and you can reduce it by two. So yeah, that's, that's quite nice. Um, I'll be taking some test footage of that. Actually, let's do some now. So I'm gonna do, um, let's go to pro mode. Let's get the... And I'm going to take a picture with the sharpness. I'm going to set this noise reduction back to zero. I'm going to up the sharpness to plus two. It's the only problem when it's overcast and you get changes in light constantly. You keep having to change your exposure, but that's fine. Right, so I'm going to take a picture of that. And I'm going to reduce the sharpness down to minus two and take another picture. So it'll be interesting how they compare. So I'll have a look at that on Lightroom and Photoshop later. Um, and if I set this back to zero, let's try noise reduction at plus one. And we'll try it at minus two. Great, okay. The other factors that um, they've introduced with this new firmware update is that you can also change your ISO and shutter speed to ISO and shutter priority. So that's another nice little feature. Um, it might allow you, because we haven't got a variable um, variable aperture, if you're filming in video mode, it would allow you to, for example, set your shutter speed and just allow that ISO just to compensate for exposure very slightly. So just to show how that would work, if I set um, shutter speed to um, 1 over 240, I'm obviously in photo mode at the moment, change ISO to 100, as I move around, you can see that ISO is compensating for your shutter speed. So your priority is in the shutter speed and your ISO is matching it to maintain the same exposure as, and yeah. So if you look at the, um, so for example, in this setting, currently I'm in ISO 100, shutter speed one over 240. Obviously as I tilt around, that exposure is gonna change slightly of the light conditions. If I, if I set it to auto ISO, it'll now compensate the ISO to maintain the same exposure as I move around. So my shutter speed's fixed at 1 to 40. So you're on shutter priority. And there we go, back to 100. Seems to work well. I'm actually really impressed by how this is handling the wind. I mean, it is really windy out there. These are conditions where people would probably flinch to fly their Mavic 3 
and now I'm flying a tiny little Mini 3 Pro. I mean, that thing weighs less than 250 grams and it's handling the wind like a trooper. So yeah, I think <laughs> the most impressive thing today is probably how this is handling the, um, the wind more than anything. So anyway, that concludes that. I'm gonna fly back now, have a look at the pictures. Uh, I'll put them in the outro, uh, see what you think about it. And I'll talk to you soon. Please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.